Let's do some crowd work. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm showing you a lower body workout. He started off warming up with some snatches, kettlebell snatches, and some ab wheel. You know how much balls it took to do the ab wheel because it injured me? And I always said I would never do an ab wheel again. And I said, I'm just going to do one rep. If I feel anything, I will let go of that thing so fucking quickly. And I didn't. I was able to knock out sets of 20, which was kind of surprising. So, Zercher's off pins. Getting back my strength, getting back my conditioning, all that crap, right? Just got to keep plugging away when you know what you know what they say. That's not what anyone says. So, worked up to a top single of 365. It definitely wasn't a max single, but it was heavy enough to give myself a good stimulus. The most I've ever done on this exercise from this depth is 405. So having 365 go up like this, I'll take it. Let's put it that way, I'll take it. Then, I used to hate barbell lunges, but I'm using a buffalo bar, which is kind of curved, and that makes this exercise a lot more comfortable. I want to load this up. I want to load it up, baby. 135, three sets of 10. Uh, I'm not showing the whole clip just because I feel like you guys might get bored. So I'll just tell you what I did. Three sets of 10, 135. I'm definitely going to go heavier on this. So this is high rep glute ham raises. I think this is a set of 15 to 20. I can't remember. Um, yeah, Nordics are all the rage. But to me, if you can't do glute ham raises, you can't do Nordics. End of story. So many people are like, oh, I'll just add a band to my Nordics. <laughs> no, you got to be able to do glute ham raises first. If you don't have access to the equipment, that's a different story. But if you do, you should be doing glute ham raises because this will be a prerequisite exercise to getting your hamstrings strong enough to do Nordics. Now, am I going to sit here and say glute ham raises are better? I don't know. Maybe if you load up your body with weight on glute ham raises, they could be better than Nordics. And what they do have is... They allow you to get peak tension better because you're not just flopping onto the floor and exploding up. So it does give you tension at the lengthened position better than Nordics. I'm going to make a whole video on this. Now, look at my back. This is what how, why you don't use a straight razor to shave your back. It looks like I got attacked by a fucking saber-toothed tiger, bro. So there's these kettlebell rows. I'm mixing in mobility work with my spine so as you can see i'm torquing my spine to the side i don't even know if i use the word torque correctly so i'm bending it to the side while rowing and most traditional one arm rows would be the side that you're rowing on to put that foot back this you're doing the opposite so you're shortening the lat on one side while lengthening it on the other side and i'm flipping it around so it's the lengthened side that's not being worked and the shortened side is being worked gives you a whole different stimulus and I do feel my spine literally becoming more mobile as I'm doing this exercise and I did these both for three sets look at my back just absolutely destroyed it's not uncomfortable anymore but it hasn't healed fully it was so uncomfortable in the beginning but as you can see look my lat is shortened on that side and I'm trying to actively pull with my other arm to bend myself then I just ended up the workout with some spine mobility, focusing on rounding, actively rounding in order to increase the mobility of my spine. Too many years have people said, oh yeah, you want your spine to remain rigid. Yeah, you want your spine to re remain, bleh, remain rigid under heavy, heavy loads. Not all the time. And then right here, we have 100 reps of twisting just with a 10 pound barbell or 11 pounds, whatever. It doesn't weigh 45. And I'm twisting from side to side. It's just something old school bodybuilders used to do to keep their waist tight. And I figure, hey, that could be good uh, mobility uh, potential. Here's the breakdown of the workout. Uh, I know you're not stupid enough. You can understand what you just saw. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, have yourself a great day.